graphically to determine the direction of the resultant of the following three vector displacements. 1. 15 meters, 30 degrees north of east. 2. 20 meters, 37 degrees north of east. 3. 25 meters, 45 degrees north of east. So the first thing we're going to do is give a graphical representation of these three vectors being added together. So here's our axes here. We have the x going in this direction and the y vertically up like it normally is. Now we're going to draw in the vectors. So vector 1 shown in red here is going to be 15 meters. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis. So this is our vector 1. Vector 2 shown here in green makes an angle of 37 degrees with respect to the x-axis and that is 20 meters long so that's vector 2 and now vector 3 makes an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the x-axis and that's 25 meters long now the resultant shown here in purple connects our initial starting point to our endpoint up here which corresponds to this vector here this vector say r now the question is asking for what is the angle between our resultant vector and the x-axis in order to determine this we have to find the net x component and the net y component for these three vectors being added together so we're going to make a table off to the side here so vector 1 vector 2 vector 3 their sum, the x component shown in meters, and the y component shown in meters. So I'm going to finish just drawing out the table here right now. Now, the first step is to determine the x and y component for vector 1. So we know that we have our axes like this, here's our y, here's our x, and we have vector 1 that is 15 meters long and makes an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the x-axis. If we use cos of theta, this would give us the x component of our vector and this would be 15 down here. If we solve for the x, it will be of the form 15 cos of theta theta being 30 degrees and cos of theta or the cos of 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2 so this value of our x component is roughly equal to 13 meters so our x component of 1 is equal to 13 meters and then to solve for the y component of vector 1 we have to use the sine of theta because the sine of theta gives us the opposite here which would be the y component over same 15 meters so y would be equal to 15 sine of 30 degrees now the sine of 30 degrees is one half so it's just 15 times one half which give you a value of 7.5 meters now we have to do the same for 2 and 3. For vector 2, x and y axis, we're going to draw those in again. But now for vector 2, which is shown in green, we make an angle of 37 degrees north of east, and this is 20 meters long. Now we're going to use the same form as for the previous two. So our x component instead now is going to be equal to 20 meters times the cos of 37 degrees, which gives us roughly 16 meters. And then for the y component, it's going to be essentially the same equation, but we're plugging in for a different uh, length and angle. So it's still going to be y is equal to Instead, it's going to be 20 meters times the sine of 37 degrees. And y 
is roughly equal to to 12 meters for this problem. So then we're going to write that in to our table here. And the final step is to solve for the y and x components of vector 3. So what we're doing here, this is going to make an angle of 45 degrees north of east. And this has a length of 25 meters. So using the same form as the previous equations, x is equal to 25 meters times the cos of 45 degrees. And this gives us an x of roughly 18 meters. And y is going to be equal to 25 sine of 45 degrees. Since the sine of 45 and the cos of 45 are the same, our x and y components in this case are going to wind up being the same. So 18 meters for both. Now the net of each, so first we're going to solve for the net for the x component which will be 47 meters and the net for the y component is going to be 38 meters. Now that we have solved for this, we can now solve for the direction that this resultant vector is pointed. So we now have our axes here for the resultant is y x-axis and now if we draw in our resultant vector here, we want to solve for this angle here. We do, however, know the x component of it to be 47 meters and the y component of it to be 38 meters. From the Sokotoa, we can see that the tan of theta is equal to the opposite of 38 meters over the adjacent 47 meters. And in order to solve for theta, we take the tan inverse of both sides. So theta is equal to the tan inverse of 38 meters over 47 meters. This corresponds to a value which you have to figure out by plugging into your calculator. Correspond to a value of roughly 39 degrees. So the direction of the resultant of adding these three vectors here together gives an angle of roughly 39 degrees. So our answer for this question is the direction of the vector. It's 39 degrees north of east.